So, how am I not broke after being in school for six years? And actually, I'm not even graduated yet. I still have hopefully one more semester to go in nursing school. Well, the first thing that I um, told myself once I got into college was, was acting broke. Anyways, the second thing that I want to talk about is also I learned how to sacrifice. I think that was probably the hardest part about um, going to college, just making sacrifices. I didn't even know how to make sacrifices. Prior to going to college, um, I was just used to going out with my friends all the time. Going to bubble tea, eating out. The thing that my friends and I kept, that we kept doing or like eating, I guess, was going to bubble world. And man, bubble tea was like a thing for us. It was a place for us to, or bubble world was a place for us to just hang out, eat good food, well, good Asian food, I guess, and bubble tea. Um, but I went to college. The more I did that with my friends, I started to realize, oh man, I'm losing money. Like, one, because I wasn't really working much anymore. And secondly, I was just constantly spending. And I just knew that if I kept spending, I'm just gonna be broke. Probably become like in debt, probably start using my um, visa or whatever for like continuous things. And like, you know when they, people tell you that you can just pay off your visa with that like $10 minimum or whatever minimum? I was just like, are you kidding me? That minimum, that minimum is not gonna help me pay off my visa at all. Imagine if you have like a $500 like debt on your visa or like a thousand and that accumulates over time and you pay that $10 minimum, man, that is how you even get even more broke by just paying that minimum. So I just knew that I couldn't be going out that much and I just knew that making the sacrifices of just not going out with my friends that much anymore, really big thing to do and a really big deal to do because it helps you save your money. And so then that leads to, for me, to learn how to sacrifice with music festivals. Man, I am a raver and I just love going to music festivals, especially EDM events. And I just knew I just couldn't go to every single event and it would cost like $100 or even way above that. Like if you're going to big music festivals like in Vancouver, maybe like faded over the years, they got even more expensive. And I just knew that I couldn't afford that. So I had to tell myself, pick and choose. Picking and choosing events was probably the hardest thing because EDM, there's so many different genres. And so I just knew that I had to go to the DJs that I really wanted to see. Um. Yeah, you're probably thinking why there's clothes here. I want to show people that you can just use the clothes that you already have in your closet without even shopping. And so this is what I usually do. For example, I have these pants. Now what I'm going to show you guys what to do is just learn how to style yourself. Just learn how to reuse and even just like um, see what looks good and repeat the outfits or even the pair of pants that you're wearing. Oh, so here it goes. Okay, so as I mentioned, you don't need to be buying multiple clothes or go shopping or whatever. So what I tend to do is just repeat a pair of pants and wear different tops or style myself with yeah, different things. So the first outfit, this as you can see. <laughs> and then next thing you know, I get bored of my outfit. And obviously I want to wear the exact same pants. So I'm going to put on this shirt. Even do it loosely, or you can even tuck it in, which doesn't be difficult for me. Just just pretend I have tucked this in all the way around. So that's another outfit. Make it cute like that. And then next thing, if we want to make it with a cute denim jacket. Then I match it with a cute denim jacket. Quite difficult still with one hand, but let me just try my best. Okay, I'll just leave this on for now because I can't fit my hand there, but this is another outfit. If I want to go classy and everything, then I would um, change out of this in like a cute top if I want to make it all dressy. And 
for your another outfit without even buying a new pair of pants and just styling it with the pants you already have. And I learned to prioritize. I think prioritization is so important. Without prioritizing, you wouldn't even know how to prioritize your money. Um, I just knew that um, college was a priority for me because I started to realize during my second year of college that I needed to go to school because I just knew that I couldn't work in a restaurant forever or babysit forever. And so acting like a broke student, prioritizing and making sacrifices helped me not be in debt in college and not be broke while being in school for six years. All right, peace.